Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the conference. This is Matej Toke. I'm the COO at Bitcoin.com. And today, if the clicker works, I'm going to talk about Venezuela, our program that we're going to start in Venezuela this month. And uh, also, at the end of my presentation, I'm going to give away some free money to every one of you, some free Bitcoin cash. So let's get started. Sad reality. I think we are really not always valuing our lives, and we should be more grateful how great lives we are all living. If you look at these pictures, first let me start with the picture on the left. It's a big stack of money. It is 14 million bolivars, and with that money, you can pay for that chicken. As a matter of fact, now you would probably need an even bigger stack of money because when this was, this was made, the inflation eventually has, has gone up. On the other side, uh, you see a party. It's a nice Bitcoin party in Miami. And I don't think it needs much of a commentary after the chicken situation. Now, cryptocurrencies can have many, many use cases. But I think the most important use case is to use cryptocurrencies for payments. The very title of the Bitcoin white paper says, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. It was intended, intended to use for cash. Now, what's happening in Venezuela? There is hyperinflation going on. If you've bought a million dollars in Venezuela's local currency in 2013 when President Maduro came to power, that money would now be worth 37 cents. It is pretty shocking. Let's talk about people in Venezuela. The standard of living in Venezuela is extremely low. If you want to buy a cheap meal with no meat, it's about a dollar, dollar fifty. If you would like to treat yourself with something more nicer, it's about, you know, five bucks, seven dollars. And here comes the terrifying part. The minimum wage is two dollars. The average salary per month is between 10 and $20 for someone in Venezuela. Extremely, stand, extremely low standard of living. People are struggling in their daily lives. It's terrible. Now, Bitcoin.com wants to start a program in Venezuela, and our, our goal is to onboard 500 merchants per month to accept Bitcoin Cash. It's a big number, and you probably ask the question, how are we going to do it? We will have people on the ground to go up to these merchants and educate them about cryptocurrencies. Each person who signs up a merchant will get $5 in Bitcoin Cash as an incentive. We are also working out a program, an incentive-based program, for the merchants to accept cryptocurrencies as well. But if you think about it, from a merchant's perspective, would you rather accept Bitcoin Cash as a means of payment or take 5, 10, 15 minutes, have a scale, and have a stack of money? Because that's how they you know, count nowadays in Venezuela. They don't count the money because good luck counting 14 million bolivars for a piece of chicken. So there is eventually an you know, incentive for the merchants to sign up as well. Um, once the merchant signs up, they're going to put a Bitcoin Cash Accepted sticker on their, on their store. They're going to you know, publish it on social media. And we're going to uh, add them to a merchant directory application called Marco Coino, so other people will also know that that merchant accepts Bitcoin Cash. Why Bitcoin Cash? Through peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, we can bring economic freedom to the world. This is really important. People in Venezuela need an alternative because eventually their currency have failed. People in Venezuela are extremely educated about cryptocurrencies and the reason to that is because 
they're struggling with their own currency. And the best alternative for them is clearly Bitcoin Cash. As I said in the beginning, I'm going to give away free money, free Bitcoin Cash to every one of you in the room. If you do me a favor and look under your seat cushion, you're going to find these really pretty golden tickets. Beautiful design. That's right. So you can either do it now or you can either do it later. It's absolutely up to you. But if you go to the App Store and download the Bitcoin.com wallet application and scratch off this QR code here and scan it with your phone, you're going to receive either $1 $200 or even $500. Total, we're giving away $2,500. Now that money is of course yours to keep, but I do encourage you to donate to places where there's a bigger need. Two of my favorite projects are Airdrop Venezuela or Eat BCH. Airdrop Venezuela is a fantastic program they're aiming to collect a million dollars and basically airdrop $10 to 100,000 people in Venezuela to make their lives a little bit better. EBCH is another fantastic program where you can basically donate and they will help, with, they will help to put food on starving children's table and you know, feed them in Africa. That's also really nice if you think about it. Now again, the choice is yours. You can either keep the money or donate. Um, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, and if you want to read more about what we're doing in Venezuela, about the merchant's acceptance and onboarding new merchants and the entire program, please go to bitcoin.com forward slash Venezuela. Thank you so much.